so welcome to video number two let's continue our description here about typhoon and dsp now i'll show you the operation in closed loop the structure is the same i have the same bug converter here i have the same vo input voltage performing that step in the input voltage i have here also the step in the load okay i'm measuring here two variables the output voltage and the inductor current i have here the feedback path a sensor gain which is equal to 1 over 100 this is really important to later to set this in typhoon and i have here now the closed loop i mean i'm feedbacking this variable taking to the adc part we in, in continuous here dc then I have here sampling, zero and harder hold with sampling frequency equals to 15k, which is the same of our switching frequency. I have here the reference and I have here now the digital controller. I have here the coefficients. I did this in MATLAB. So now notice that everything begins again with a PC simulation because we will generate the code. Remember that the code is generated between these two blocks, the ADC and the PWM. The reference is the same, which means that we want 65 volts at the output, and this is because our output voltage sensor gain is one over 100. This means that we need, we want to have 65 volts at the output. Remember also that we need this target set here according to our control card and we are also using here PWM GPIO 0. Okay. Remember that this is a sawtooth wave. Actually it's the same simulation just included here the control strategy which, which is this one. Again the coefficient the coefficients I computed in MATLAB. I can share with you if you want. If I run this just to check how is its behavior so let's plot the output voltage and let's plot also the inductor current we clearly here see the input behavior the initial behavior at this moment is when happens the step in the input voltage we clearly see here that the controller returns the output voltage to its set point okay and also here when a load is connected to the this is to the output we see clear here that the controller acts as well returning the variable to its set point which is six, 65 okay this is just to check how is supposed to behave our hardware in typhoon okay in terms of typhoon we do not need to change anything this is keep unchanged because we still receiving the PWM from the digital input number one, you are still feedbacking this variable here. Okay. So here in SCADA, this is the most important thing now. You need to set this GPIO that this is not a GPIO, this is an analog output V out as output part one and this is this must be the same of your sensor gain so if you are using 1 over 100 it means that you have 100 volts per 1 volts ADC and this variable here which you are measuring will go into the DSP through the analog input okay so if you come here to the same PDF I described earlier and if you look this table here table 1 if you set a variable at this part, which we did here, V out, it means that this signal is going to the ADC input E0. Okay, so you need to check carefully if you have the same variable right here. In this case, this is just the this is the only measured value variable, so we are sure that this is A0. Okay. Again, the, the point, the signal you include here must be according to the scaling, which is your sensor gain, 
and also in what part you are including here because the code will use the A0 result and then make your counter strategy run but you need to do something more because if you return here to the analog signal connector there is an observation here the analog output of the hill scaled on board from minus 5 to plus 5 volts and the DSP input is from 0 to 3 volts it means that the this PC board here that we are discussing it makes here some offset and gain adjustments it converts from plus 5 to plus 3 and minus 5 to 0 and this implies that we need to do something here to compensate these gains and offset and in thus this case we need to include this part of block here which is we need to make the offset compensation and also the gain compensation and I can make this offset and gain compensation of the typhoon hill this is are necessary they are necessary because this part of the PCB the board makes this offset and gain adjustment because again they use this var variable here and this okay it says here that there is an offset 1.5 and that's the reason we are subtracting 1.5 and 5 and making a gain of this value okay and for this to keep working I can make the same compensation but on the positive direction right here this is just to keep the simulation running as expected Okay, the most important is this one because this will be generated the code. Okay, so the simulation is equal, but now which matter is that we are generating the code right here. If we do not include this, the typhoon won't work correctly. Okay, so we need to do that offset reduction and gain adjustment. Later, I generate the code notice that this is now is a bug closed loop if I go back to the code composer I need to close this and I will open the new one through the same path so bug closed loop this is the file finish okay same procedure right click properties products uncheck this file new target file then I choose my control card which is this one save you may test connection again just to be sure everything is okay succeed so I will prepare for running okay so notice notice that I didn't change anything here I just changed the thing the thing that I want to run in the DSP and now is a closed loop counter strategy I open here closed loop and then let's check how is the behavior let's turn on the camera again the semi variables in yellow the output voltage in blue the inductor current I need to run this I see nothing is working because I didn't turn on the DSP now I will run the DSP I see here now the voltage at uh, the output voltage and also here the inductor current if you check the value just to be that measure here channel 1 the mean value this is a little bit let's try this this is supposed to be the 65 volts we will have there okay but now again now we it is running in a closed loop we saw here in the simulation such behaviors when I changed the input voltage I can check that in typhoon again because I can now begin to change the value here and see if the yellow changes 
or not we clearly see here that the controller is working good just to be sure about that let me include here we are two but with a different scale just to take a trigger and show you similar behavior of the of the simulation if I change this and this what is happening let's try another one I'd like to see the behavior because if you check on the simulation this is quite low and this is hard to take on trigger but I'll do that let me see how we can do that returning to 100 125 let's try through channel 2 I think this won't be easy let's see if I succeed yes actually I did that so you can see here with a better scale let's try to I will repeat this test because in purple here I have a better resolution so let's see single that's it so here is the output voltage in a better resolution just to capture this small variation that we see here in the simulation you clearly see here that the controller is acting good and most important we can conclude that we have even for current here let's try we have here similar behavior in the current that we saw on the simulation and here the voltage returning to the reference so the most important thing I'd like to say here is that the communication between the Typhoon Hill and the DSP is good the controller that I generated here in PC and then I run here in code composer the power structure is here and the results shows that we are having good interactions between the Typhoon and also the DSP let's return to 100 let me make now the the second step which is this one the load this is quite severe because the voltage changes so low the control is so good but now we can do the same test if I come here contactors open and close let make a trigger here single when I close that switch I can see here quite again a similar behavior before it begins down and then up similar to here and here are the the inductor current that we can clearly see here the output voltage keeps controlled so everything now is fine the feedback is already done the controller is good so the most important is that we have the correct connection between the DSP and the hardware in the loop here in channel number 4 I have the PWM if you want to see let's try to do this just for you to see here that the PWM in green there is a port available for you to see the PWM okay so I hope this video help you your initialization of Typhoon Hill and notice that these are experimental results so 
a lot of people are publishing paper with results in Typhoon. The most important thing is that this controller is running in a real DSP. So if our focus of our research is on controller, control strategies, filtering, etc., then we can prove our validity and verify our research through this set of DSP plus hardware in the loop. And now I finally succeed in closing the loop. This was my problem initially. I had to make this compensation. So now everything is working good. Okay, so let me know if you have some doubts. And just to wrap up this video, show you here the configurations, the, the, the setup. Here are the probes I told you in the first video. Let's see. I have here measuring the output, analog output of the hill. I can see whatever I want in the scope. Okay. Let me know if you have some doubts. We can share files if you want. No problem for me. And I hope you succeed in developing your research. Now this is quite set good. We can now just change the power structure, change the controller using more ADC inputs. For everyone you need to make this compensation, even for DC or AC, for inverter. Okay, I think that's it. Let me know if you have some questions. I hope this video help you succeeding in validating your researcher. See you.